to you so I can be close to you it's really simple if you look at it that way. hello brothers and sisters peace of Jesus Christ be with you uh, we will uh, start our session or our uh, episode like friendly episode together and uh, in the name of the father son and the holy spirit the one god amen do you think god changed his mind about what he said is that possible that god will change his mind could be moody or something muslims non-stop claim uh, that uh, they are uh, from the same God uh, and they are Abrahamic religion uh, uh, before checking those facts we have to uh, we have to see the, what they are saying uh, in their claim that it, all their the, all the prophets since Adam they were uh, uh, Muslims now we will compare what uh, they say with the Ten Commandments God gave to Abraham those Ten Commandments one I am the Lord your God, no other gods before me. Exodus 22.3 Now the references, I'm not going to read them. You, they, are, they are available in front of you, you can go to check them in the Bible. 2. No graven images or likeness. 3. Not take the Lord's name in vain. 4. Remember the Sabbath day. 5. Honor thy father and thy mother. 6. Thou shalt not kill. 7. You shall not commit adultery. 8. Thou shalt not steal. 9. Thou shalt not bear false witness. 10. Thou shalt not covet. Covet is like to envy, to, uh, to envy, let's say. I put them uh, in here uh, for you. Your neighbor's uh, house, wife, servant, uh, woman, uh, girl, woman, uh, his uh, properties, ox, uh, donkeys, uh, or any other things for your neighbors or your others. Yes, and and the references in here you can see that has been mentioned. Uh, let's see. Uh, if God changed his mind, the so-called prophet, uh, they said he's a prophet, isn't he? So let's see. He brought uh, a book from Allah. Let's see. Is that the same God? Let's see what's happened. Our God in the Bible has many titles. Not actually names, but uh, the earthly name is Jesus Christ. This is his earthly name. But the, all the rest are simply titles however let's see what names the lord has uh, in the bible yeah yahweh il and in some period it used to be al and al it was like uh, a and al next to it and that means god as well it doesn't mean anything more than il or al they change the, like we change like uh, often and often so it's a changing changing of uh, way of speaking uh, and you see all these names and it all all of the all of it mean god god uh, almighty uh, i am anahua i am you see uh, Elohe, uh, elohim uh, uh, shaday whatever so many names uh devout i am i don't know how to read uh i don't know how to pronounce it properly i'm sorry i don't read any uh hebrew thing so i'm just following those if i made any mistake so please forgive me but the meaning is the god of the host pay attention it's god of the host it's mentioned somewhere else and the other names considered as well, like uh, its titles as well, like I will be uh, what I will be, I am what I am, I am who I am, Adonai, as well as still my Lord, uh, Hashem, the name. So God, he doesn't want to strict in a name. He's not a name. He's above names. He's not, he doesn't have earthly, earthly things. 
the earthly the earthly name only the only one earthly name was Jesus Christ and the name of uh, Lord uh, Jehovah this is mentioned all what I'm putting is what's mentioned in the Bible and as you see in here uh, God of the hosts or host of the ranks of Israel so that's mean he is the God of the army of Israel he's the God of them and it, it is written as well in a different way in uh, Hebrew uh, Yahweh Sabaoth in Arabic Rabb Sabaoth Rabb Sabaoth this is the Arabic way Rabb Sabaoth and it mean the God of hosts yes uh, and it, it does mean Ra'is al Ra'is Quwat al Ibraniyin Rabb Junood God of host, God of the, his, the army, Ra'is uh, Quwat al Ibraniyin, the God of the host of the uh, Ibru, Ibraniyin, Ibru. I am the living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, Rabb Ibrahim, wa Ashaq, wa Yaqub. I am the living God, he's, al he's alive, and he's the God of the living, and he's a God of Abraham is Isaac and Jacob. He's a God of the living, uh, not of the dead. He's not the God of the dead. We've been promised uh, to be alive after death, yes? So he's the God of the living. Ilah Ahya wa laysa ilah amwat. Ahya is alive or the living. Laysa ilah amwat, not the God of the dead. That Ilah to mean God. Ilah in Arabic to mean God. Al Rabb to mean the God. Al Ilah that means the God. Ilah to mean God. Al Bidaya wa Nihaya the beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega. You know what is it? Beginning or the end as well. The Alpha and Omega. And and a few more. Many more in fact. But Allah is another God, not our living God, you know, because Allah is best of the deceivers, mudul, deceiver, mudul, al-kahar, aumintpun, the kahar, fatal, mumit, as-samad, statue, statue, etc. And not to forget, uh, they changed 26 names. Uh, Al Azhar and uh, Saudi, and they change at certain time. Twenty six names. They said it doesn't. Uh, it's not good for uh, to be names of a god. Yeah. Uh, so so they change twenty six names. Why did they have a permission from uh, Allah to change it? Did 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 Allah give a permission to change twenty six of his names? Who gave that permission? Nowhere you could find in the Bible the name of Allah but only in Arabic translation, only in Arabic translation, which has been made under the Islamic occupation in different time, different thing. Yes, so Allah, it came at the time of the Arabic occupation. I know you can see a lot of things written in here, small writing and stuff, but you can take screenshot, you can stop the video, you can read it uh, on your own time. I put in the Arabic, I put in the English, and I highlighted the main, the main things you need to read. Allah is a pronoun. Allah is a pronoun. It's a name. It's not, it's not uh, like title, like what for us, like God. It's not his name, it's a God, it's a name. It's a title for some to say he is a God, yes? It's a title, while Allah is a name, pronoun, yes? Name of the essence of the... It's written in here, you can get it from uh, Al-Ma'ani. I put the link in here, I can put it as well in... Uh, I will put it in the description box and you'll go to the Ma'ani and you'll find the same thing. It is an Islamic uh, dictionary. You simply copy and put it on the, uh, the Google Translate, yes? Allah is a pronoun, name. It is a name, fact, it's not, it's a name. 
it's not like uh, God, like Ilah. So uh, it's mentioned in Al Ma'ani that Al enter to it. Yeah, Al is enter enter to it. Then the Hamza was deleted. Then the Hamza was deleted. Hamza is the small thing on the Alif. Yeah. The Hamza was deleted. The Al was entered to it. The Hamza was deleted. Now what's left for it? You can see in here. Al. La. This is the actual name. La. Now. The, can we can we say there is no God but God? No, that's not possible to say there is no God but God. But they will have to say there is no God but Allah because it is the name. It is the name of the Islam Islamic God. In Arabic, I wrote it as well. Can we say uh, La ilaha illa ilah? No, we have to say La ilaha illa Allah. Can we say La ilaha illa ilah? We cannot. Or can we say Ashadu Ashadu it's the Shahada Anna La Ilaha we I I bear witness that there is no God but Yahweh. if if we have the same God, can they say Ashadu Anna La Ilaha illa Yahweh? There is no God but Yahweh. Of course not, of course not. Now they have to say uh, la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna la ilaha illallah And this is the real name of it Yeah But the actual thing is La The actual thing is La The Al is Al tarif The The La The La or, or it will be used like Al or Il Like mean God La It will be It has to two, two ways Either God La God as it's been used like that this is you can use it in any way God la yeah la sorry for the writing is not great God la or it will be the God the God so two ways El la this is the name so now we are we are facing a different God, yeah. Uh, that Allah, uh, that, that it's not the same God uh, the, of uh, the God of Islam. In the, our God is not our the same God of the Islam historically, and uh, we can take it from the Quran, yeah. Uh, originated from the it's originated from the God of the Moon, yeah. Uh, and we'll see that uh, it's pre-Islamic. From Arabia worshipped here, yeah. but from the Quran we'll see in Surah Al Najm, the star, the star, the star uh, chapter, nineteen to twenty-one. We see the connection to the God, uh, to to the God, to God, the Moon God was through the inter uh, intercession of the idolaters. Uh, daughters, yes, you remember Alat, Alazza, and Manat. Those is his three daughters. From the Arab pagans, uh, they used to worship them. Yes, they have uh, everything for them, statues. They worship them. They are, st yeah. Now, Tafsir uh, al-Qurtubi, the the, the he, he he said that he, you will see that in Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Chapter al of 19, your division is unfair. That's, that's God, that's God is, is saying that is unfair for people, that you are unfair. I have daughters and you have children, you have boys. And the biggest uh, misfortune is that his daughter are not only Allah, al izza and Manat, but all of them they were a creation the all their his creation creation like uh, all all of them they are uh, girls that's what he didn't like even uh, for from the angel like like uh, the angels as well are uh, 
Pay attention that his angel. If you go there, you will see that his angel are are his own daughters. Yeah, that he've got only female, female. So the daughters of Allah. Yes. Now in the Zuhr of nineteen, he's saying. Uh, كسمتكم غير عادلة. Your division is not fair. لي بنات ولكم أولاد. For me, for me, girls and for you, uh, boys. Yes. والمصيبة الكبرى إنه ليس بنات فقط للألات. And that's the unfairness thing for him. The problem for him is that he desire, you know, uh, he desire the boy, you know, he desire those boys. He want boys. He doesn't want only girls. Yes. So I am putting for you the Arabic after the English, so you can read the English in here. You read up after it uh, the Arabic, then you read the English for each chap uh, for each each verse or verses, and then the, you read the Arabic for it. And uh, in here you will see uh, in the Surah Zabiz chapter Nahal, Ayah fifty five fifty seven. Yes, what he's saying, and that's God saying, the stars are also girls. The stars are also girls. So, uh, daughters of God, glory to Him, and they have what they desire. So Allah have got the stars as girls. He've got the angels of girls uh, as girls, and He've got Allah, Allah, and Manat as girls. That's unfair, and He want boys. It's unfair that God is is showing that he can't he can't live like that. He need he need boys, the boy, the man. Yeah. So I don't think uh, this is a speech of a God. And uh, if he's God, uh, can't he say be and it will be? We heard about that uh, thing. No. Number two, prove it's uh, because we are following. See uh, one by one. The Ten Commandments. So I will not be reading everything, but I will highlight for you. Yeah. Now Allah is in uh, here. Muhammad, what he said, that uh, the Jews they had Saturday, the Christians they had Sunday, and they went astray from Friday. While in the Ten Commandments he said, keep the Sabbath. He took he took Friday. He took Friday. So he chose different day. You can read it on your own time. It's Sahih Hadith. Yeah, Sahih Hadith, and it's very Sahih Hadith, and you can see Ibn Majah and everything. It is it's very Sahih Hadith. So he can as well lost the uh, Sabbath. It was narrated Abu Huraira. This is from the father of the cat, Miao Miao. Yes, and he was saying that uh, whoever took oath. Now we are speaking about oath. You know, we, we shouldn't take oath in vain and we shouldn't take uh, the oath of God of, in vain and, and everything. About oath now. Whoever took uh, oath, they used to take oath in Allah and Al-Uzza and as well in the Kaaba. Yes, until the, the Jewish said, uh, a Jewish man, a rabbi, passed by and he told him, uh, you, sh you, are, you are mushrik, you shouldn't do that. So what he said, the messenger of Allah, what he said, whoever uh, took an oath and swear, saying by Allah and Al Uzza, Allah and Al Uzza, as well there is by by Al Kaaba, let him say La ilaha illallah. After that, so you say by Allah, by Al Uzza, so basically the the Godist, and then you will say La ilaha illallah. Sahih Hadith. Take take if you want screenshots. Keep it and uh, do whatever you want. Yeah, this is number three. Now he's taking the name of the God in vain. Allah or Muhammad, because it, is, it could be the same creator. Quran started nice in uh, in Mecca because Warak Abu Nawfal was writing for him. He was trying to be political stuff. He was, uh, Waraka was the cousin of uh, Khadija. He was, he was um, from the Nasara, not the Christian. Nasara is the one who the Christian kicked off. Uh, they don't believe in Jesus as in his deities. They believe in him as a prophet. And this is how Muhammad took it anyway. Muhammad never met Christian. He not, met only Nasara and other things like that. 
similar to them who the Christian who kicked them off and they went to to somewhere like that uh, where there is no place uh, nobody and they they lived not Mecca at the time because <laughs> there is no Mecca at the time but anyway we'll go th- according to their books uh, during that time in Mecca he started nice the by because Walak ibn Nawfal was writing for him very good uh, Quran and telling him what to telling him what to say and telling him that to stay political thing to bring the Jews to bring the uh, the Sabian to bring the Christian to to take to take them in under his wings to make to make him be a nice good prophet he was telling him not to argue with people so basically he shouldn't argue with the people of the scripture and our God is your God he does his and they are one God this is what he was saying and that's Quran 2946 yes and the, you want this is submission uh, uh, the Muslim they have to be submit they have to submit and to be Muslims in here uh, he said uh, this day uh, <laughs> good food have been made lawful lawful he's saying the food the food is lawful the food of christian and the, of the people of the uh, scripture so he, they, they are able to eat all our food even pork yeah all our food all our food nothing it's all lawful if you see it's all lawful made lawful so all our food they can eat it lawful yeah even our women they can take our women he gave them our women they can take them and uh have with them uh, you know what <laughs> from among those who were given the scripture so he want to have sex with our women we want to take our food you want to take everything and it's all lawful given uh, them their due he want to give them as well like like a payment as he did with the uh, muslim believer give them let's say ajwa give them a dress give them anything and you will be uh, that's it Get compensation desiring ch- chastity not lo- unlawful uh, uh, sexual so b- basically if you pay her let's say uh, 10 ajwa 7 ajwa that's it she's lawful uh, not unlawful anymore sexual intercourse or uh, taking uh, lovers whatever so he, on his way it is lawful anyway you'll find that in the uh, quran 5 five yes in the same chapter when he said that uh, today I fi- I finalized your your Dean your uh, your Dean yes Dean is uh, religion he finalized it for them you, you don't eat pork but then he said yes you can eat it if you are hungry so but at the same time he's saying you can eat the, uh, for the food of the scripture people of the scripture so they can eat it He even told uh, Christian and Jews that uh, and Sabians, Sabians, that they will they will go to heaven too. Yeah, he was very very nice uh, that he want them. He want to be uh, politic, not nice, but he want to be political thing to do like a, a politic thing and uh, reward them in heaven. That if you follow me, you will go uh, Christian and Sabian. You will go to uh, heaven. Those who believe in Allah. And the last day so whoever believe in the Allah and the right day and did righteousness righteousness will have their reward so he's rewarding them with their Lord ah their Lord ah do you know maybe it's not yeah maybe it's not his Lord and no fear uh, will they will there be concerning them so you will not have you will not have to be afraid you are not going to hell nor they will uh, will they uh, grieve they will die and go to heaven and here he, will, he said indeed those who have uh, believed and those who have uh, who were uh, jews sabian and or christian those who believe in allah and the last day and did righteousness no fear will there be concern them nor will they grieve so quran that's quran 5 to 69 this is quran 2 
Ayah 69, yes? Chapter 2, 69. So basically, he's promised them heaven and everything and the last day. The Christian, the Jews, and the Sabian did not believe in him. Waraka died. He, he tried to kill himself a few times. He tried to throw himself over, from over a cliff. And uh, after that, he went to, uh, to Medina. But after a while, he had some Sa'alik as a gang. He had a gang, Sa'alik. And uh, Sa'alik is whoever, whoever used to rob and uh, being kicked off uh, any community. He called them Sa'alik, uh, yes. And they were strong, they were uh, pretty strong. The Jews said, you have, you have not brought us clear evidence. And now he's changed his mind. He's changing his way of speaking. Yes? Clear evidence. And we are not once to leave our God on your say-so. Nor are we believers in yours. So he's are saying we are not going to believe our God. So they know that Allah is not their God. So they are not going to leave their God to believe in Allah so they know from that time in the Quran they are saying that they are not gonna leave our God to follow yours yeah nor we are uh, no nor are we believers in you so they don't believe in him nor in his Allah so he start the different things now uh, he, he is uh, strong and uh, he start uh, to call them kuffar the Jews say Ezra is the son of Allah and the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouth. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieve before. So he's saying that they are copycat of somebody before. May Allah destroy them. He started to destroy them before. Don't fear. Now uh destroy them yes he want to be start to kill how are they deluded <laughs> yeah so the christian and the jews and sabia are deluded they have taken their scholars and uh, the monk as lords beside allah and the messiah so allah and the messiah are lord but that's what the muslims for forget beside this one put under it a few lines if you like because beside who? Beside Allah and the Messiah. So they are lords and they are taking the monks and the, their lords as gods beside Allah and the Messiah. So Allah and Messiah are gods. But this is what they want to turn their bl blind eye on it, the Muslims. And they were not commanded except to worship one God. We do worship, worship one God. There is no de uh, deity except him. Exalted is he above whatever they associated with, associate with him. Quran 9, 30, 31. And in here basically he start to give them in chapter 9 and everything like that. It start to make like uh, they make them kuffar, make them they are believing in a few gods, making them that associating gods to, uh, with, with Allah or God. Yes, different gods associating. Now, they have certainly disbelieved who say Allah is Messiah, son of Mary. While the Messiah said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord, and my Lord and your Lord, my Lord and your Lord. Indeed, he who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden him paradise. So now they don't have paradise and they will go to refuge the hell of fire. So they will be in hell of fire now. That's Quran 5, 72. Don't tell me why 9 and then we jump back to 5 because uh, Quran is mishmash. They've been assembled later on. They didn't know how to put it. Even there is uh, according to Revelation and according to this time. So you don't know which which. Now, 
they have certainly disbelieved uh, who say Allah is the third of three now he's telling them about the Trinity that you can't say Allah is third of three while well, nobody said Allah is there between in the three no God except one God we accept that but not your Allah and if they do not desist from what they are saying they will surely afflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment so basically there is a painful punishment in chapter 5 73 and and that uh, you can check as well many chapters because it's all over it's all over after that and you can get uh, many things like uh, <laughs> you can get it in everywhere now because he changed his mind he's not what I got, went went away died and he is free to uh, you know he start to have revelation from his brain from any other any others the person telling him he take his opinion and he make Quran as you wish so now you can follow all this and you will see that he telling everybody that they will have punishment you know painful punishment still didn't accept him so basically Jewish Christians Sabians didn't accept him so the sword verses start to come down the when the sword verses came they abrogated all the one before from uh, the Meccan one yes the one from uh, so one verse of the of the sword verse verses abrogated all the Quran before yes all those nice and uh, the the they keep throwing in, in our face uh, whoever killed uh, one person or killed uh, whatever all the ummah all that is gone because anyway it's copy from the Bible but anyway it's gone yes because Waraka used to copy from the Bible and they wrote that Bible in their uh, in their books and uh, what he said in here and when the available months have passed so basically like Ramadan or uh, whatever they used to uh, to tell you know to do kill them kill the police and uh, whenever you find them yeah policy police kill them so he start to kill in here you see that's it is finished you start killing uh, wherever you find them and capture them capturing them and besiege them so that city is catching them sit in a way and wait make for them traps now for them at every place and ambush to ambushes yeah but they uh, but if they should surrender surrender re repent establish prayers give zakat let them go they didn't say go let them on their way but they have to give zakat they have to say surrender they say i should surrender so islam is to surrender for islam you have to surrender this is what does it mean islam is to surrender establish zakat give zakat to pay, start paying the money and the jizya and money and uh, in a way either jizya or zakat and uh, start praying and repent to be muslim so basically to surrender indeed allah is forgiving and merciful yeah and here you kill them and uh, capture them and sell them as slave and otherwise uh, if they gave you money you are very merciful and in here he said I have been given five things and those five things by the way never they weren't giving to anyone but but just for him yeah he've got uh, I have been supported with the fear being struck into my and in, into the heart of my enemies for the distance of one month's travel so for the distance of one month's travel people they were afraid from the savages who were killing them and selling them as a slave whoever left of them taking their kids taking their land 
taking their uh, everything they have, taking, uh, killing whoever, making the, the, the land the land full of blood from killing. And in here they were, so in here we are, they are, the killing started, they are killing for a distance of one month's travel. They were so fear, fear, you know, fearful from him. He said, Nusirtu birrab masirat shahr wa ja'alat liya al-arda masjidan wa tuhura and he made he want to he made the the whole land for him is a masjid is like a mosque for him so everywhere they they can pray they can pray and make it their own land all his uh, people they can pray wherever they pray it is their own land wherever they pray it's they that's it it's their land their their houses wherever they go in they pray it's their uh, their house so imagine how it is for one month distance yeah traveling distance they were they were they were afraid from him from the savage the savageness from those people who's coming to kill i was sent with a sword our lord came with peace our lord came with love i was sent with a sword before the hour Be you know the hour is the end of day you know so he came to kill everybody before that's bad <laughs> i was sent with the sword before the hour so that god alone would be worshipped with no partner and my sustenance sustenance was made under the shade so basically all what is food and uh, everything uh, he used to money food everything was made under the shade of my spear so from here from under the shade of his spear he was he was killing and taking all the food all the money everything and the humiliation and despite upon those who my command so whoever didn't accept his command he was killing them بعثت بالسيف بعثت بالسيف بين يدي الساعة حتى يعبد الله وحده لا شريك له وجعل رزقي تحت ظل رمحي وجعل الذل والصغارة humiliation and humiliation الصغارة I couldn't get the word properly for الصغارة this is more than humiliation more something like you, you, humiliation and even more so for the one who disobey, yeah? Zilla wa sagara ala man khalafa amri for whoever did disobey my command. Snaduhu sahih. That's sahih. So basically, it's killing, killing spree now. This is the fifth. An ibn Abbas kala sajad an nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if he want. بالنجم وسجد معه المسلمون والمشركون والجن والإنس رواه البخاري. This is the Bukhari who said that. Yeah. Now Ibn Abbas Bukhari saying from Ibn Abbas and anyway. So this is Ibn Abbas حبر الحبر الأمة. The one who should write or everything. Yeah. حبر الأمة. Muhammad said about him. He's the cousin of the Prophet. He said the Prophet. Prostrated himself for the najm, when a najm. This is for the najm, for the for the star. And here they didn't translate a najm. A najm is a star. He prostrated for the star. He prostrated when the star was revealed. And the Muslim as well. Uh, Ploisist. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. <laughs> yeah. And who else uh, uh, prostrated with him? Al Jinn. And man prostrated themselves. The everybody, the the human, a human. They didn't mean man. I meant a human. A human and jinn. All human and all uh, jinn. That's uh, you know jinn by now. Yeah. Uh, they uh, they did they did uh, bow with him. Yes. So when he when he bowed for the star, when he bowed for the star, everybody did, including the polytheist. Yes, and jinn and all human and Muslims, they are all mushrikeen. They don't believe, they, they do bow for the stars. Muhammad 
kissed and circled around a stone like pagans and hadith sahih of course and he said I saw Omar ibn al-Khattab this is the caliphate you can't say anything about him uh, kissing the stone the black stone and al-hajar uh, al-aswad saying I know that you are just a stone and that you neither uh, you you can neither do any harm nor giving benefit to no harm no benefit and it's just a stone had i not seen a messenger of allah kissing you i would not so he was kissing him he was kissing the stone i would not have kissed you Al-Bukhari and Muslim, look in here, Al-Bukhari and Muslim posted this, put that in their books. Al-Bukhari and Muslim. And this is Hadith Sahih, and this is the number in here, yeah? This is the reference. Seven, adultery. And we see in here, we can read a lot in here about the story. It's long uh, thing, so I am not gonna read everything. It's but when Aisha told him, yes, when he when he made the verse, and uh, women women start to come to him, and give their themselves, yes. But the in here the Muslim they made for her that she was jealous. It's not about that. It's just <laughs> she was rebellion. She knew that he was uh, he wasn't good. And the the woman the woman gave uh, gave themselves. Then when when God the exalted and majestic exactly revealed, you hope for whoever of them you will. It's uh, I think bad translation. And you shelter whoever you will it's a bad translation i think because it's uh i will read it later on in arabic i think because it's it's a, it's when uh it's the wahibat and fusahunna it's the women who gave themselves to him so she they gave those women gave themselves to to muhammad and uh it's you tell him i give you myself and they will have a relation uh sexual relation so Aisha, she said uh, when he made this verse and uh, Al Ahzab in sh chapter Al Ahzab uh, verse uh, 60, 51, uh, Aisha said, By God, I do not see your Lord, but that he has hastened to you in your desire. So it does it immediately run to you to, to give you whatever you desire. Hasten, yeah? So his Lord. Your Lord has done to you in your desire. This uh, hadith as well as Sahih as well as Bukhari. He said in here, but you didn't hide uh, in your mind that uh, which Allah was about make manifest, uh, manifest was revealed concern Zainab bin Jahsh and Zaid bin Harith. This one was called Zaid bin Muhammad. Zainab was the wife of Zaid, and uh, Muhammad saw her, and uh, he, he he wanted her. If you remember the number ten, and it said covet, yeah, covet, and uh, he 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 wished to have Zainab, and uh, and in here what he said in Arabic. وَتُخْفِ فِي نَفْسِكَ مَا اللَّهُ مُبْدِيهِ Yes, this is what came from in the in the verse. And you hide in your in your in yourself inside you what God gave you, what God show you know show you. And it came down, it came down where in uh, Zainab bin Tujash, and he took her later on as a wife, and uh, Zaid bin Muhammad and he forbid adoption after that so he de de denounced him and forbid uh, uh, adoption as they uh, 
they start telling him and accusing him how come you take uh, the wife of your son uh, in that time so they show that they saw that uh, that a shame so he denounced him and he returned him uh, he made a verse about it as well and he returned him to his father's name and uh, and he forbid adoption and until now muslims can't adopt can't adopt at all so it doesn't matter if they have kids or not they can't adopt Even uh, he fancied children, man, even dead. The Prophet may bless him, whatever, and grant him, grant him uh, pieces and permission, and permission so he entered uh, between him and his shirt. So the guy came and took permission. Yeah, the Prophet, yes, uh, grant him pieces. Yeah ask permission so he enter between him and his shirt to enter between a guy and his shirt so he kissed he kissed and adhered then he so basically he was between him and his shirt they used to wear only shirt it was called kameez and it was to be up to the knee nothing under no underwear nothing and they start kissing yes so in here he starts kissing and sorry uh, so basically starts kissing and had heard and then he said oh prophet uh, of God okay what is the thing that is not permissible so what's the thing is not permissible what uh, to prevent something you cannot stop basically so he said the water what is the water in Quran it's semen so I told him the water so then permit so he permit him basically to relieve himself and the guy relieved himself in here the the thing is that the father of Bahisa <laughs> is narrated and Bahisa speaking the daughter the daughter of the man speaking and that's wow the, the daughter of the man speaking about her father who did that with, with him and he who has created from water semen do you see in here it's a it's quran i.e semen it's not me who wrote it i just copied from the quran a human being so he created from water semen a human being and made him lineage and son in law so you see in here now whoever made from the semen son in law he made him son in law and ever is your lord competent what's happening in here so if a daughter if a daughter from outside marriage yes and he, he created from a daughter from a water seem a human being and made him yes a lineage so that lineage is halal for the husband to sleep with his daughter and you can see that in the uh, explanation because if the daughter from outside marriage she's halal for the father to sleep with her father or daughter and the mother at the same time because she's not from from marriage so and here we are seeing that he's sleeping even he made that lawful that is why the mother and daughters you his daughter from fornication because she is not his daughter according to the most concert, correct so she's not his daughter is she's from the corny uh, for what they call it fornication now from fornication she's not his daughter so he can't sleep with her of the uh, two saying of the scholars and the most correct of the two opinions in the religion if there uh, there is no lineage according to Sharia according to Sharia there is no lineage so he, then there is no legal marriage uh, there is no legal marriage with the mother so this is not his daughter then it is not forbidden for fornication of girl of a girl a mother or a mother of a daughter and because God is uh, gracious 
with lineage and in law upon his servant and his elevate so anyway whoever come from uh, outside marriage this is what he's saying in here uh, is lawful for the husband to sleep with the girl and the mother including the mother of the mother if he can so he can do it with the everything and that's from quran ksu sa the saudi arabia yeah kurtubi tafsir al kurtubi and there is many tafsir under and it's all the same according to sharia this is the sharia that's mean fornication from everywhere your, your his own daughter he can sleep with her nikah the dead people as I said, he didn't even mind the dead. On the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, when Fatima, the mother of the Ali ibn Abi Talib, remember this name, Ali ibn Abi Talib, he's very, uh, for Shia, he's really, yeah, he, he's really something. The messenger of God, may whatever, took his shirt, put it on her. That when she is in the grave and slept with her in her grave then garment of paradise and lay <laughs> the garment of paradise and lay with her in her grave relieve her from pressure of the grave so basically by screwing her <laughs> sorry for the word sorry uh, by sleeping with her he will relieve her from the pressure of the grave so yes and she was the best of god's creation to me after abu talib yes and this is tabarani part 7 page 87 so basically if you sleep with uh, and until now it's uh, it's halal for a husband to sleep uh, with his wife that's why in some countries they guard the, the dead person until the uh, <laughs> until they put him in the grave like that uh, no nobody will jump on top i was present when the daughter of god messenger was being buried so his daughter being be, be, be buried he was sitting beside the grave and i saw his eye and his eyes shade of te shading tears his eyes shading tears. He then asked, if there is any of you who did not have sexual intercourse last night? Good question at the time of uh, burying someone. Abu Talha replied, so then here he asked if somebody didn't have a sexual intercourse, yeah? Very good question. Abu Talha, remember the name Abu Talha for, for if you want it for reference next time, said, said so basically so he said uh, not. Abu Talha, uh, he had not. So he told him, go down into her grave. Go down into her grave. And he did so. And Abu Talha jumped into her grave. Yes, he's speaking about sexual intercourse, yeah? And and go down into her grave. Yeah. Shahidna bintu Rasulullah sallallahu ma barfshu tutfan. Wa Rasulullah, they keep saying sallallahu alayhi wa they don't repeating like 10 times in the. وجالسا على على القبر فرأيت عينيه تدمعان فقال هل فيكم من أحد لم يقارب يقارف الليلة يقارف الليلة فقال أبو طلحة أنا so basically any of you didn't sleep with anyone so أبو طلحة said I I didn't be but he said I and uh, and he told him, go down into her, uh, you know why. فَقَالَ فَانْزِلْ فِي قَبْرِهَا فَنَزَلَ فِي قَبْرِهَا So this is Rawah al-Bukhari. Bukhari said that. 
and حكم صحيح صحيح الألباني yes this is صحيح as well so his daughter as they pretend that she's his daughter he didn't have uh, any daughters or sons it's from his uh, ex-wife the one who died Khadija anyway his daughter died he asked someone to jump into her uh, grave Muhammad did not forgive his parents in here and there we had some something uh, we spoke about uh, uh, in Arabic Akrim Abaka wa Ummak yes and uh, in here uh, in English it's what is it honor thy mother and thy father yes honor thy mother and thy father let's see what he did good until now yes Muhammad didn't forgive his uh, parents they they are in hell fire he said as he said a man asked him asked where is my father messenger of allah replied your father your father in hell is in hell your father is in hell when he turned his back the guy w went sad yeah he's turning his back he said my father and your father so muhammad saying my father and your father are in hell so both of them are in hell my father and your father are in hell so both of them because they are mushrikeen they are from the uh, pagans they are all in hell and that's sahih al albani yes now this is from uh, the father of the cat i ask permission to beg forgiveness for my mother but so he asked forgiveness from god allah is allah to forgive for his mother forgiveness for her for his mother but he did not grant grant it to me Allah didn't give him for forgiveness for his mother I asked permission for from him to visit her so he gave went to visit her and uh, he went there and uh, visited her but in another hadith as well he said uh, she is in hellfire and this is Sahih Muslim as well as Sahih, all of them Sahih. Now, Muhammad stole. We spoke about stealing, yes. Muhammad stole and a lot, basically. But we're we're gonna speak about specific thing. Uh, did he did a lot? Uh, but why did I choose this one? You will see very very soon that. And not uh, and not a prophet could ever be false to this truth. Was why why this was revealed? So he whatever he say it's very true. Yeah. Although nowadays they they every time they say hadith sahih hadith not sahih hadith daif hadith they give us hell. It's it's all wama huwa illa wahyun yuha. It's everything revealed from uh, from whatever he says the hadith. Prophet, it's uh, like Quran. It was revealed about a red velvet, something like uh, cloth or or underwear, red underwear, when it was found missing. So this red underwear was missing on the day of Badr after they killed everybody in Badr. Basically, uh, some people said perhaps the messenger of Allah has taken it. <laughs> so basically, he took it. They said maybe he took it, perhaps. So uh, they accuse him that he took it. So Allah, the exalted, sent down after accusing him. Of course, the rescue came. And no prophet could ever or could be false to his truth. Why he didn't send a verse that uh, who took it? Who took it and show who took it? Anyway, to the end of the verse. 
it is not uh, any prophet that uh, he would act unfaithfully yeah and whoever betrayed betrayed will come with what he took on the day of resurrection then will ever soul be compensate for what he earned said so whatever he will take whatever he will take he will, he will uh, allah will, will will give him will give him uh, a <laughs> big deal about it yeah so uh, from quran 3:161 he said the any the prophet it is not to any prophet that he would act unfaithfully so if the prophet act unf unfaithfully he will be in the day of resurrection he will have really 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 his uh, his de big deal yeah <laughs> anyway now let's see why i choose that one muhammad when when muhammad died they put the red velvet with him in the grave so when the messenger of allah was buried a red velvet cloth was placed beneath him so they put him they put the because he loved it so much and that's sahih look it's sahih اخبرنا اسماعيل بن مسعود عن يزيد وهو ابن زريع قال they put names وقال حدثنا شعيبة عن ابن جميرة عن ابن عباس so ابن عباس anyway he's saying yeah narrated ابن عباس قال جعل تحت رسول الله so they put under تحت رسول الله جعل تحت رسول الله uh, حين دفن when he was buried قطيفة حمراء قطيفة حمراء they put under him red velvet the one he loved and he took he stole from if you remember it in here he took a red velvet he loved it so much he used to wear it with the clo with the underwear of Aisha the the sleeping beauty of Aisha yeah so they put it for him in his grave then another thing about COVID <laughs> I put for you what does it mean long for desire fancy envy anything you like there is a lot of meanings yes it was narrated from Aisha she's she's a really good uh, uh, rebellion she was the first one who left Islam I believe but she was forced to stay <laughs> that the messenger of Allah married her when she was six so he he, he molested her he, he, he fancied somebody who was six years old yeah and consumed that marriage with her when she was nine but during time that time he was uh, يفاخذها in Arabic and that's tying her it mean anyway it's not my subject and that's صحيح so basically he envied the kid he envied this envy person who's six years old according to the history of Al-Tabari and the book of uh, Bint Al-Shatiq and many reliable Islamic references the, the Prophet went one day to the house of Zaid and Zainab so basically in here it's I'm showing you how he how he envied Zainab and there uh, there was a veil, uh, a veil like a veil they used to have tents and that like door it's out of it could be from a hair of something or it could be uh, just a cloth yeah of a hair and here they said of a hair a veil of a hair so they used to make tent of hairs of hair on the door so the wind lifted the veil the veil the veil and they saw Zainab in her room naked and her so he saw her naked he loved he loved uh, he envied her yeah he covet and her uh, admiration fell in his heart 
and he said glory to the changer of heart glory to the changer of heart so basically his heart flip some other place flip my heart yeah glory to the changer of heart so he, he start uh, telling her uh, some uh, some stuff and she she didn't object him she didn't kick him out she didn't anything she waited to to tell Zaid to divorce her and then basically she she was she had uh, she wanted him as well Yaqub told us he said uh, my father told us on the authority of Ibn Ishaq he said Hussein bin Abdul Abba, uh, Abdullah bin Abbas told me on the authority of Ikrama anyway authority of Ibn Abbas authority of Ibn Abbas uh, authority Umm al-Fadl bint al-Haris anyway in here messenger of Allah whatever uh, I saw uh, Umm Habiba that he saw Ibn Habi Umm Habiba bint Abbas who, who was above Al-Fatim when he saw the girl she they call her Umm Habiba because they don't write any name of a girl but, but uh, they don't write any name of a, of a girl so Umm Habiba it's the mother of Habiba bint Abbas, the daughter of Abbas, who was above the Fatim, Al Fatim, Fatim, who whoever stopped taking milk from a breast, breastfeeding. So she was very young, barely maybe one year, one year and a half. This is me, and I am living to marry her. This is me. So he said, I I will live to marry her. So basically, when she will be like six. It's the Arabic way. It's not. It's not like that. This is me. And uh, he said, if I live, if I live when I'm uh, when she, she grow up and I'm still alive, I will be. I will marry her. The the thing, the Arabic. I don't know why it changed like that. But anyway, this is me, and I will. I am living. I'm alive to to marry her. So basically, he was like uh, old, and he want to marry her, and he and he wanted her. She was above the Fatim. Al Fatim is like uh, toddler, and uh, toddler, yeah, in here, Al Fatim, toddler, yes, bint, daughter, mean daughter, Musnad Ahmad, and uh, and this is the narration, yeah, in here, uh, so Imu Habiba, and here, so uh, this is little girl, yes, little girl, he saw her. He fancied her, little toddler. Muhammad bin uh, Omar, the authority of, uh, let's go to the end of the authorities, An Khawla said, he said, Khawla bint Hakim, remember the name, who gave herself. So Khawla gave herself to the prophets. She's one of the women who gave herself to sleep with, yeah, uh, to him. Uh, Ibn uh, Al Musab on authority of Khawla bint Hakim that she asked the messenger, and this is the same person. If you remember in uh, some other videos for uh, Christian Prince, he said about a woman. She asked him about if she, if a woman uh, dreamt about like a man dream and what she will do, and she had like a liquid. What she will do? He told her to wash. Yeah, so he's this guy in here mentioning uh, about a woman who say uh, who sees in the dream what a man see. So he mentioned in the hadith. So this is the same woman who used to speak about with him about sexual stuff, and she's the same woman who gave herself to sleep with. Now check why. Yeah. That's a big deal. Khawla, who was Khawla bint Hakim? We were told by Muhammad ibn Ja'far, uh, he said, Shu'aib uh, uh, and Hajjaj told whatever, uh, 
ذات خولة بنت حكيم السلامية who is the maternal aunt of the prophet she is the maternal aunt of the prophet uh, asked the prophet uh, about a woman having a dream what a dream so he told her uh, he told her to wash basically and the messenger uh, god bless whatever uh, yeah so he told her she's she's the one ask him about the wet dream she's his aunt and she gave herself to him so in there we establish that she gave herself to him and she's the one in here him about what dreams in here you and she is his aunt maternal aunt if you see maternal aunt she gave herself to him so he didn't mind even sleep with his aunties when Luhaya died, Khawla bint Hakim, the wife of the Uthman, Uthman bint uh, Mazun, so, so she was the wife of Uthman bin Mazun, came to the Prophet and said, O oh, Messenger of God, should be not uh, married. She told him, Do you, Don't you want me to be married? She, she's the one, she told him, uh, uh, You should be married. And he told her, Yes, but with who? So she told him you should be married with a virgin and uh, with the uh, daughter of the most beloved creation, uh, creation to you is the daughter of Abu Bakr, is Aisha. And you have to uh, get married as well with a, uh, an old woman, Sauda, and, uh, the daughter of Zama. So she got him married from, from those two at the same time. Yeah, so she was his as well. His, she, he slept with her, she was asking him, uh, she was his aunt, she was, she got him, his pimp basically, she got him married with those two, at the same time, a toddler, or not a toddler, like seven years old, six, seven years old, and uh, an older uh, woman, like 30 maybe, 12, 25, 30, I don't know, uh, so he got married, uh, I will give it even 40, yeah? But she got him two women at the same time, one old, one young, to, to enjoy his time, one to, to take care of him and one to enjoy his time. Yes, and this is the same Sauda who, who told him that to, to keep her with him, but uh, she will give her day to Aisha like that. Uh, just keep, keep her married. Yes, she is the same one. And this is Hadith Sahih, the references in here and uh, all Sahih. So she's the one who, who gave he gave herself. She asked. She got. She gave herself. She gave him Aisha. She gave him Sauda, and she was asking him sexual stuff. Aisha understood this game, as you saw before. She told him, "I do not see your Lord that he hasn't hasn't." Yeah. مالي ألا رب ألا ربك يسارع إلا يسارع في هواك هاستن to you in your desire yeah so so she told him that you'll find that in this fifty one al ahzab thirty three al ahzab fifty one so Aisha understood the game she told him that his lord is uh, he doesn't uh, he 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 doesn't hasten in his uh, to run to to help him to save him in anything even in the red velvet some other place it was uh, narrated uh, abu bakr from 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 uh, authority of uh, whatever uh, aisha said isn't it a, a woman is she speaking about the woman who gave herself yeah isn't a woman ashamed ashamed of giving herself to you so are, aren't they those women ashamed to give their, themselves to you so she was, she was really, she understood what, all what he's giving, she's doing. And she said, those women, they are not ashamed to giving themselves to you. And then she told him, your Lord will make the hastent for you and your desire. Uh, it's a copied from there. It's not, uh, I'm just making uh, reading mistakes maybe with you. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best. I'm sorry for that. So, uh, so your Lord is, uh, as you see in here, that she made sure that uh, 
<laughs> she understood they are ashamed to give themselves to you uh, and your lord just only uh, run to rescue you, you and Jibreel uh, going up and down very fast for you so they aren't ashamed uh, I don't know and this uh, in here of course it's trustworthy in here as you see the hadith is trustworthy let's skip from 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 and we'll go to so the prophet uh, used to vote uh, among women so he used to vote among women who were right yeah uh, he tra or travel when he want travel so he drew he drew uh, among them yeah he drew among them and uh, so Aisha and Zainab uh, bin Jack so basically they were traveling with him on the camels and then uh, uh, then they had uh, misunderstanding I don't want to read it for you to all uh, you can read it uh, they had a misunderstanding about the weight and stuff about uh, to put the weight of uh, stuff on the camel of uh, from uh, Zainab to to the camel of Aisha so what Aisha said so because in here look Aisha Aisha rode uh, on the Zainab's camel so Aisha took the, the exchange uh, camels they had to exchange camels and the messenger of uh, God uh, looked at Aisha and uh, hit the camel so he was upset because she was she wasn't uh, she wasn't happy she did she looked bad she didn't like what that exchange yeah and uh, what he said what she said yeah oh Muhammad you claim that you are a prophet oh Muhammad you you claim that you are a prophet he said you are in doubt and you are in doubt he replied that several times she didn't answer him so you claim you are prophet so she understood really well that he is not and she was the mother of the believers don't forget that and he said that a few times he used to repeat three times minimum so uh, and uh, you are in doubt and she didn't reply oh she can't <laughs> yeah so she understood him very well the takeout of this is the following Allah is not our God according to the Bible yes Muhammad worshipped many things including stone stars three daughters of Allah or Allah God of Allah God Allah Taluzza and Manat yes Muhammad worshipped so many things he kissed the stones he circles around them three to seven times depends on the hadith yeah it depends on the story now he used our God in vain and every God in vain he used our God and every God in vain even his own to reach what he want what he wanted change the Sabbath into Friday after the Jew, Jew told him even he changes uh, rak'at the salah the prayers he, he used to pray like a Jew standing up and then the Jew passed by told him uh, we pray like that and he say he said the change changed and they bowed so basically they started that because of a rabbi so he changed the Friday the Sabbath sorry uh, he hated uh, his parents and he sent them to hellfire never prayed for them he just uh, hate them and they are pagan and he sent them to hellfire killed all other people who opposed him all other people I meant like anybody else than Muslim like pagan uh, Christian Jews anybody there were so many maybe we didn't uh, they didn't mention uh, opposed him like Christian Jews say Sabian uh, including 900 Jews in one afternoon he was watching and uh, they were cutting their necks he was there he, oh, he ordered it he wanted the the sand to be filled with water with, with blood he wanted to be he loved to fill it up blood 
He stole everybody's property, women, kids, and sold them. He took the fifth of every booty. Uh, sold uh, sold them the nikah, you know, he took them as a slave, uh, including uh, red underwear, uh, they put it for him in his uh, grave. He bear witness that uh, the Injil and Bible and Torah are from, uh, from Allah or God and believed in them. But Muslim constantly prove, proven him liar. So let them be as Allah is a bad librarian in this case and he's the liar as they wish. Muhammad desired made sex with kids, toddlers, auntie, dead mother of uh, Sahabi, all kind of men uh, including a group basically a zut uh, black uh, black group, uh, women uh, even animals. One more thing, <laughs> must uh, must mention really, must mention, who is a liar, but who, who denied Jesus Christ is the Christ, who is the liar, but who denied Jesus is the Christ. This is the Antichrist, he who denied the Father and the Son, whoever denied the Son does not have the Father. But whoever confessed the Son has the Father as well. 1 First John 2 23 Therefore, I have said to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven man, but the blasphemy against the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, will not be forgiven man. Matthew twelve thirty one. So he blasphemed against Jesus, our God the Father, and denied them, and blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. Uh, Muslim until now they blasphemed some of them, not all of them. I'm not speaking about everybody. They blasphemed against the Holy Spirit, the uh, G Jesus, and they keep saying Jesus of the Bible, and. Uh, God help them. We we wish them not to not to be uh, in hell. We wish we wish them to be saved, and that's why I'm making my uh, video. This video I want them to be saved. Pay attention for those. Don't be a liar. Don't deny Jesus Christ. Don't deny uh, our Jesus is not the one in your Quran. It's not Isa. There is nothing called Isa. Isa doesn't exist for us. We have Yesu al-Masih wa bihi nahya. Don't be uh, astray as you say uh, in, in, in your Quran and stuff. Don't go astray. Jesus, Jesus, then Jesus. Yeah. Don't, don't change. Finally, Mo, Muhammad, cannot be from the same God, can't be a prophet, Allah is not our God, he is simply Antichrist, both of them are, are, are Antichrist, I don't want them to give them uh, different names, I can't give them a lot of names because of what they did, but Antichrist is good, good, with the, good now, for now, just because according to what they do, or what they, you can give them names, not from me. Uh, a question to our beloved Muslims, is it appropriate for God to take the role of a pimp that Muhammad put, uh, put him in, in order to satisfy all his sexual and non-sexual uh, fantasies? Yes, do you think so? Was God really the one who suggested uh, such a nonsense? Or it's Satan who was the companion of Muhammad. What do you think? Yeah, think about that. Is it appropriate for God to take the role of a pimp that Muhammad put him in? This is a role of God. But Muhammad put him. Uh, he said it came from uh, from Allah. Do you uh, do you understand that? 
and in order to in order to satisfy his sexual and non sexual 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 fantasies like like well wahibat and fusahun like to for women to give themselves to him and to marry his uh, the daughter of his uh, son and all and everything put them in front of you and think about them yes just think think about those questions thank you brothers and sisters including brothers in humanity yeah thank you brothers and sisters for for, for following i hope like uh, you like it i hope uh, uh, it was informative it was really good and you like it jesus christ be with you enlighten you and protect you dear muslims use your brain you don't have to agree with me but use your brain it was harsh i know it's fact though it was harsh it was the truth all from the quran and sahih hadith not even the one daif all of them sahih hadith before you swear or dislike search for the references i provide it anything you can't uh, fine just ask me and i will happily give it to you please subscribe at uh, my uh, channel and my other channels yeah press the bell press like or dislike as you wish um, all good don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my backups uh, channels because uh, i'm having a lot of attacks on my channel on this channel follow the link in the description box the, the links are, they are all in the description box there are a lot of uh, threat uh, on this channel and i will uh, would have uh, much more after this video i think <laughs> share my video upload them on the on your channel thank you very much